Scientists at the Australian National University have discovered the fastest growing black hole ever recorded. Researchers say the supermassive black hole exists within a quasar, which they've also discovered is the most luminous object in the universe. The black hole eats a sun's worth of cosmic matter each day. And with what could be the coolest sounding job title around, Christian Wolf, the quasar hunter, led the ANU team with this discovery. Um, Christian, for a start, what exactly is a quasar and how does it work? Yeah, a quasar is a fast-growing black hole. Many people have heard of black holes. They are dense concentrations of massive matter that have so much gravity that not even light can escape. And hence it's a black hole rather than a white hole or something else. Oh. But a quasar, you see, when a black hole actually eats matter, when it eats loads and loads of matter, that matter gets close to the black hole and it rubs up against all the other matter trying to be sucked into the black hole. A lot of heat is released and a lot of light. In this case, this new quasar emits about as much light as 20,000 galaxies the size of our Milky Way galaxy. That's what we call a quasar, when the black hole is feeding rapidly. And this black hole indeed eats as much mass as we have in our solar system with the sun and all the planets put together every single day. Christian, I don't understand. If it's so big, the black hole, then why has no one seen it before? So we have all seen it before. It's stared into our eyes but we just haven't in the past recognised oh. it for what it really is. So the hard part is not actually seeing the light. The hard part is understanding what this dot of light is compared to the many millions of other dots of light, which may be somewhat boring stars. Interesting stars to other people, but to me as a quasar researcher, boring stars. You know how you were talking about the quasar's insatiable appetite and its love of gobbling. Well, <laughs> yes. could, could we be gobbled by it? Oh, no. <laughs> no. Indeed, we don't need to be afraid of being gobbled up by this quasar. Uh, first of all, it's very far away. The light has travelled for 12 billion years to reach oh. us. Mm. So we're completely out of reach. But also there's a time aspect. It's travelled for 12 billion years, the light. So that means we see it in a state that was 12 billion years ago. And we're pretty certain that by now it has finished eating. What we see is that the heyday of black hole feeding and quasar activity was really sort of 10, 11, 12 billion years ago. Quasars are so 10 billion years ago, you guys. I know, it's, it's old news. <laughs> um, Christian, I've just got a quick one. We're, we're actually out of time, so just a super quick one. Um, what is um, the meaning of life? <laughs> well, the meaning of life is to make great discoveries and be entertained. Aww. I think hey. every scientist is a treasure hunter. Aww. And, but the hard thing is, we might work hard sometimes trying to make discoveries, but we don't know whether there's a treasure. Oh. Oh. I feel like well. you just offered the meaning of life and then just took it away. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Everybody. Uh, Christian, thank you so much for speaking to us tonight and blowing our minds. Thank you very much.